What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with SPY, Tesla and the overall market and break down why we're gonna likely see a sell off very soon. Please note that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And don't forget to smash the like button. Anyways, NVIDIA just had their earnings. They actually had pretty decent earnings overall, but it wasn't really enough to please Wall Street and the share price is still slipping. So they beat on EPS with 68 cents adjusted above expectations. Revenue is a beat at $30.04 billion above expectations. They had good guidance for Q3. They also saw some uh, pretty decent looking numbers for their buyback. They approved a $50 billion buyback. And the majority of the news that they announced was good. Uh, we're going to be watching to see what happens with new products, but I don't think that's going to be enough to save them at this point. We're al already down like 8%. And NVIDIA looks very, very bearish right now. So I think it's going to drag the market down for tomorrow. Tomorrow just knows that we have um, some very important GDP numbers an hour before the market opens. We'll see what this leads to for the markets as well. And then we'll see how things end up progressing from here on out. So what's happening with the markets? We look bearish. And by the way, guys, I wanted to uh, just say that I actually have a very, very bad Wi-Fi outage right now. So I'm using my hotspots uh, you know, to connect to the internet and use, uh, to be able to record this video. So I'm going to make this video very short and quick so I can upload this quickly. Otherwise it's going to take a long time for me to do so. That's why I'm going to be kind of quick when I go through this. Just want to make that very, very clear. So NVIDIA, we're down 8%. I called out that this thing is going to be dumping down all the way down towards these low levels. You know, it's going to be down over 10 points if we got a bearish report and if we got a bullish report this thing would have ran up close to all-time highs uh the report was actually decent but the reaction is negative it wasn't really enough to please wall street so all we could really do is accept it for what it is and the share price is continuing to decline so we could continue to see this dip we're going to be looking at the support around this 115 area if that breaks i could see nvidia dipping all the way down towards this uh 111 zone so that's going to be coming next we're barely holding support, so we'll see how well we hold up, but there is some more downside potential. We're down 8% and counting. As a result of this, I think that SPY is going to lose its hourly 200 EMA, and I think that our next target is going to be down to 547. I anticipate that is the most likely possibility. I think we're going to be seeing a big dip to fill this gap down below. I think the move has failed thus far as SPY is selling off. We have this gap on the daily, as you can see. We are not. We might not fill the whole gap. We'll see about that. But I do see us coming down to gap support and possibly starting to fill this. So I think 547 is coming at the very least, if not below that. Um, for Bitcoin, we're looking more bearish. Uh, this could dip a little bit more, get closer to about 57,800. We'll see if it bounces or not. But it's still turning downwards. Tesla, of all things, is also down to 202 right now. We're looking bearish on the daily. This suggests that we're going to be looking at the 190s for Tesla all over again. Watch for 197 tomorrow and even 195. We look more bearish on Tesla. NQ, looking bearish. Uh, if I look at, hold on, the one hour time frame, you will see that we're now at 19,300 and counting. And we're going to fill this in balance. So I do see us tipping to the 18,000 soon. We look more bearish. The QQQ is looking more bearish. We're barely at 466. We're dumping right now. So I presume we're going to be dipping towards 464 very soon. And if that doesn't hold, we could be coming all the way down uh, below 460 into like the 458 area. There's going to be a big dump coming to the QQQ. I just want to give you guys a heads up about that. NVIDIA did not help us, so we are dumping. Apple is currently at 226 a share. Could slow down towards 224.5, close to our 200 EMA. And we'll see if that holds or not, but we're looking more bearish. For Supermicro, we look a little bit weaker. We're also dumping. We're down 6% in the after hours. Watch for 400 and eventually the 380s. We look more bearish. The Russell 2000 is down to 216. If we don't hold, uh, we're going to likely continue to dip. We're actually losing this trend line right here. So... If we don't get back above 217, I do think we're going to be dipping down to at least 215 or below. So I'll be watching to see if that ends up being the case. AMD is looking more bearish. We're kind of losing support right now. We're down 4%. Uh, I see this potentially dipping down to this low here where this wick is towards 137. Uh, others out there, ARM is looking more bearish. Going to be looking for not only 120, but also down to like 116. Coinbase looks more bearish. We're going to be looking at 188 if that fails. We have a gap to fill. I think we go down to 182 and potentially 178. Amazon, 
It looks weaker. We could be looking for a dip down to about 167. Meta is looking a little bit more bearish. We could be dipping all the way down to about 510. And then if you look at a few others like Microsoft, Microsoft to me is looking a little bit more, uh, it's a little weak right now. I could be looking for a test of 405 and 402. Google is also selling off, might be tipping even lower. So with that being said, I went over the whole market. How about Neo? I kind of skipped over that. Sorry about that, guys. Neo is dumping once again. Got some bearish news that came out. I wouldn't be surprised if we start dipping all the way down to about 3.6 and 3.5. So we're anticipating some downside. It's likely going to be more downside coming, unfortunately. With that being said, guys, I have to conclude the video from here. So get ready for the mid threes coming to NEO. The market's going to most likely pull back thanks to NVIDIA. We have some GDP numbers in the morning tomorrow, but it's not going to be enough. I presume downside is still coming. Thank you for listening, guys. I hope you guys, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. And peace out.